it, you can see it puts these little grab points at the end of the selection, and then it automatically puts this cut, copy, paste bubble directly above your current selection. I'll say copy. I'll scroll back to the top of the message, double tap to bring up this paste bubble, and paste. That's it. That is copy and paste in iPhone 3.0. Now let me go ahead and select this again, double tap to select it, and I'll cut it. Let's say I want to select the entire block down here. Again, double tap to select that. And now I'll put my thumb on that right grab point. I get a magnifier for the selection. Drag it down, select that entire block, and say copy. I've now selected the whole block. Again, drag back to the top, double tap, and paste. So is that easy to select whole blocks, you know, multiple words, paragraphs, anything? Now that's copying and pasting within one application. But of course, we made copy paste work across all applications. So let me leave this application, and I'll go out to Notes. And here in Notes, I have a note with some restaurants for Oahu. So I'll go ahead and uh, select that note. And these are the Oahu restaurants here. I'll just put my finger down, bring up that standard magnifier. When I let go, I get the selection bubble. Say Select All, so selecting all the text in this note. Copy it. Leave Notes to go back to Mail. And again, I just tap. Let me Go down one line, tap to bring up that bubble, paste, and now we've copied across applications. So it's that easy. Uh, in addition to copying plain text, this is plain text, we also copy web content. So let me leave here and go to Safari. We copy HTML. Here's a web page on uh, things to do in Hawaii. Let me double tap to zoom in a little. And what do I want to do? I'd like to swim with the dolphins. So all I do is I put my finger and hold it down here, it automatically selects that block. In fact, you know, we have this analytics engine in uh, Safari that analyzes the layout, the logical layout of the page. And that's how we zoom into the right region, we double tap. We use that here when doing selections. So in fact, if I want to extend the selection, I can just grab on that grab point in the bottom, drag it down, and now I've selected two blocks. Go ahead and copy that, HTML content, leave here, go back to mail, tap to bring up that paste bubble, and paste. So HTML copying across applications. Now let's say that I didn't mean to paste that, or I typed something I didn't mean to. Well, all you have to do is shake to undo. <laughs> you shake your phone, it gives you the options. I can say undo, paste, undo. I can shake it again. I can redo it. So you can undo and redo multiple times. I'll go ahead, undo that. All right, let's show uh, from another application. I'll go out to our Messages application. And here, uh, I think someone sent me some information about the, uh, the Iolani Palace uh, in SMS as a text message. So right here at the bottom bubble, say we took a great tour of the Iolani Palace. Just put my finger down, hold it, get that, it selects that entire bubble, gives me that copy selection above. I'll say copy, leave, go back into mail, Again, just tap to bring up that paste bubble. And now I've pasted from SMS right into mail. So across all these key applications. Now, so far, I've only shown copying and pasting from our applications. But of course, this works for third-party apps as well. So I'm going to leave here. I'll go over to, uh, here's Wikimobile. This is a native third-party application. It's a front end to Wikipedia. So I'll launch into here, and it has a, an article about the Iolani Palace. You can scroll down. Let's go for Palace Tours. Expand that out. And here's some tour information. So let's put my finger down. It automatically selected it. You can actually drag around to change your selection if you'd like, uh, if you didn't select the right thing. But I like that one. Copy. Leave there. Go back to Mail. Tap to bring up that paste bubble. And paste. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you, uh, and that is photos. We've had requests to send more than one photo at a time. And now in iPhone 3.0, you can do that. Let me go into Photos. And I'll choose, uh, I think I have an Oahu album in here. Here it is. So let me go ahead. I'll tap on that action button in the bottom. We're in selection mode now. I'll select the Iolani Palace. Select that lighthouse. I'll say Copy. Copies both of those photos. 
leave here, go back to mail, and again, simple, tap to bring up that paste bubble, paste, and I've now pasted multiple photos right into mail. So copy, paste, and iPhone 3.0. So we're bringing cut, copy, and paste to the iPhone and iPod Touch. It works across all applications, both our built-in applications and developer applications from the App Store. We have Shake to Undo as well. And there are developer APIs. So if there's a data type you'd like to put on the pasteboard, you can use the APIs to do that. And the Coco Touch controls have support for copy, paste built in. So if you're using the built-in Cocoa Touch controls, depending how you use them, adding cut, copy, paste to your application will either be no work at all or very minimal work. Cut, copy, paste. Next, landscape. Ever since iPhone 1.0, ever since the beginning, we had support for landscape built into Safari. We used the accelerometer, and so when you uh, just moved it from portrait to landscape, we automatically relayed out the page in landscape. This is great for reading some uh, stories on the web. A number of our users also love the fact that if they wanted to enter text into the web, they could use that big widescreen landscape keyboard we had. Well, we're now in iPhone 3.0, taking landscape and that landscape keyboard to all of our key applications, starting with mail. So now in iPhone 3.0, when you rotate from portrait to landscape, mail automatically relays out in landscape. This is great for reading some messages, especially if you get a nice widescreen attachment. You can see the whole thing right there in the window. We're also adding support to use that landscape keyboard to compose new messages. So landscape and mail. Next, notes. Again, in portrait, if you rotate to landscape, it'll automatically relay out. And you can use that big landscape keyboard to create new notes or edit existing notes. We're also doing it for our messages application. So again, portrait support, rotate to landscape, relays out, and you can use that landscape keyboard for new messages. So landscape now taken to all of our key applications. Next, messages. We have a fantastic text messaging application built into the iPhone. And we have some nice enhancements in iPhone 3.0, starting with the ability to forward and delete messages. You can forward and delete individual messages and also multiple messages. So you can select multiple messages and forward all of them together. But the big news for the messages application is we're adding support for MMS. <laughs> so this, this is support for multimedia. You can now send and receive photos right over the cell uh, network. You can send and receive contacts. We use the vCard standard here. So when you receive a vCard, you can automatically add it to your contact list. Send and receive audio files. And you can listen to those audio files right inside the application. And you can even send and receive locations. So you can go to the Maps application. Let's say you're going to meet someone at a location, or someone's coming from out of town, you want to send them directions to the hotel, you can send them that location right from Maps. And all of this has been added directly into the existing application. So now you have one app to send and receive text, photos, contacts, audio files, and locations. That 